who actively work to undermine our God-given freedoms that are enshrined in our Constitution. Bro, she is grifting hard. Bro! When people say Christian nationalism, do you really think that they're talking about, like, everyone's nationality is Christian? is that a first term president's uh, midterm election, their first midterm election, um, usually sees the sitting president's party lose seats. Wait. In 2010 with President Obama, we saw Democrats absolutely- Wait, I thought this was going to be a video about Tulsi Gabbard. Um. Wait, I actually never uh, watched the Tulsi Gabbard clip. Can someone send the um, Can someone send the Tulsi Gabbard clip? Because I never watched it. I, I just know that it happened. Uh, someone send that to me while I click on some of these uh, things and content suggestions. Let me go back to. Oh no, I'm not watching a fucking Hassan video. Tulsi Gabbard joins us tonight and we're happy that she is. Tulsi Gabbard, thank you so much uh, for coming on. <laughs> that was quite a statement. I'm listening to this and I'm thinking, I, I, you know, we have Republicans on the show from time to time. They don't put it as clearly and bravely as you do. So bravely. how do you feel? I mean, you've been in this party a long time. You were its future. You left. I mean, this has got to be kind of a fraught moment for you. And you know, Tucker, as, all, as, as you know, I've, I've always been an independent-minded person. Wait, has Hassan gone too far with the Dylan ban? Wait, what are you talking about? Did Dylan Burns get banned? Wait, what are you talking about? Also, please, someone find that... Uh, Wait, no fucking way. Really? That's super fucking cringe. About the criticism that was thrown in my uh, in my face uh, has been consistent throughout my career. I'm an idiot. I'm a dumb uh, bimbo. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've gotten numb to the criticism. Like it's not. It's I. As a matter of fact, I seek it out now because I make content out of it. I think it's funny and fun. The criticism that was thrown in my uh, in my face mm -hmm. uh, has been consistent throughout my career. What an interesting. Uh, what an interesting uh, little occurrence. I'm so glad I'm not part of that fucking server, dude. I can no longer remain in today's Democratic Party that's under the complete control of an elitist cabal of warmongers. Oh, God, they got to use the fucking, oh, God damn, son. They got to use the fucking uh, cabal word. Who were driven by cowardly wokeness who divide us by racializing every issue and stoking anti-white racism who actively work to undermine our God-given freedoms that are enshrined in our Constitution, who are hostile to people of faith and spirituality, who demonize the police but protect criminals at the expense of law-abiding Americans, who believe- Bro, she is grifting hard. Bro, she is grifting hard, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. I can't fucking believe how- Badly, she's grifting. Even open borders who weaponize the national security state to go after their political opponents and above all, who are dragging us ever closer to nuclear war. Now, I believe in a government that's of the people, by the people, and for the people. Unfortunately, today's Democratic Party does not. Instead, it stands for a government that is of, by, and for the powerful elite. Now, I'm huh. calling on my fellow common sense, independent-minded Democrats to join me in leaving the Democratic Party.
If you can no longer stomach the direction that the so-called woke Democratic Party ideologues are taking God our country, damn son. And I invite you to join me. Oh, wait, this is the... Aloha. Leave it. This is the whole thing. Hold on. We're saving this for the, uh, we're saving this for the YouTube stream that we're going to start in probably, uh, probably very soon. We'll watch this really quick. Person, uh, is a Democrat, yes, but an independent Democrat. And my loyalties are very clear. I love our country. And I took an oath both as I love a America. service member, as a soldier, as well as as a member of Congress to support and defend the Constitution. And that's an oath that I take extremely seriously. And so when you look at this party, the, the today's Democratic Party, it's controlled by fanatical ideologues who hate freedom. They despise yes. the Constitution. They actively... Who hates the Constitution more? People that want to follow, like, the processes there, like, contained within it? Or the people that are, like, actively trying to, like, fuck up the processes? You know, like, you know, denying election results or, you know, trying to change the, the way that our elections have happened for, like, the longest goddamn time to take away people's rights to choose their own fucking elected representatives rather than having the elected representatives choose the fucking voters? Like, who is... Who hates the Constitution more? The party that is, uh, you know, trying to make it more easy to vote, more, more choices in those votes with uh, things like ranked choice voting, which is on the, you know, on the list of things that a lot of Democrats are, are pushing for nowadays. Like, who is more anti-American? find ways to undermine our God-given rights enshrined in the Constitution, like freedom of speech. If you say something and I say something that they don't like, instead of saying, you know what, agree to disagree, live and let live in the traditional liberalist kind of way, no, that's not good enough. They will do all that they can to destroy you, silence you, smear you, work with big tech, work with corporate media to actively destroy anyone who dares to even question their agenda. They are against freedom of religion. They are hostile no towards one's people against, of faith. People what are you who talking about? Their own spiritual practice, especially Christians, finding ways to name me one fucking piece of legislation that's even been put forward that would take away people's right to practice their religion if they choose to. Name one. There's not any. There's a bunch of people online that are like cringy anti theists. Sure, you can say that. But you surely can't say that the Democrats are anti-freedom of religion. When you literally have people that want this country in, I'm sorry, not just like people in this country, people who are elected into office saying that this should be a Christian nationalist fucking country. Like this is, this is honestly just like a grift. Um, and I've never really had like, uh, high opinions of Tulsi Gabbard. I've never really had, you know, uh, the most positive outlook at, uh, of her ever. But this is, this is fucking blatant, okay? This is like unbelievable levels of fucking grift. Uh, be vindictive, to discriminate, to punish people who happen to exercise that freedom of religion. The list goes on and on, but how? the foundation of freedom is how. really what was at the heart of my making this decision that I cannot be a member of a party that is against freedom and actively trying to undermine it. Well, it was inspiring to hear that, but also disappointing. I mean, I, I feel like printing out your words and asking every Republican candidate who comes on this show to read them. And if you can't read them, I'm not voting for you, right? I mean, why is it so hard yeah. to say out loud? First of all, the people are always talking about racism or committing it. Why is that so hard for people to acknowledge? It's so obvious. It, it speaks to the whole environment of fear that those in power, these elitists in power, have fomented to where people are afraid to speak the truth. They're afraid to exercise their right to free speech because, hey, you might lose your job. You might be canceled. You might be trashed. And God Christianity, Christianity is not a nationality, but if most Americans are Christians, why won't pro... pro, pro okay. If they're done in a democratic manner, right? I think it's fine 
if they're like you know like based off of like helping the poor and the needy but you can't like favor one religion over another okay and when people say christian nationalism do you really think that they're talking about like everyone's nationality is christian no it's talking about like making this a christian nation where like christianity is the is the like state religion and shit like that where like all of our shit is based off of the bible and it, it's fundamentally fundamentally anti-american anti because america was based off of a separation of church and state because they saw how you know i don't know if you guys have ever heard of the fucking catholic fucking church or about the uh the church of england who had a lot of fucking power within the you know the country of england at the time right the the founding fathers themselves like some of them were either agnostic or christian or atheist there was a whole bunch of different things going on with that they had some uh spicy takes on what god was whether he was the clockmaker, uh where he just like created a clock and then let it fucking run and then like we just end up in heaven eventually like They want Saudi Arabia with Christian characteristics. I mean, some people, like, unironically do. I mean, look at fucking Big Papa Fascist. God forbid in Washington, you might not be invited to the cool kids' parties. You might not be as popular. And, and this is really what it comes, comes down to, is rather than taking a stand for peace, for prosperity, security, and freedom of the American people, we have too many people in Washington who are warmongers, subservient to the military industrial complex, Jesus. and continuing to put their own selfish interests or the interests of their donors first, with no mind for the cost and consequence that their decisions have on the American people. This is exactly what we're seeing right now with President Biden and leaders in Congress whose decisions are actively pushing us to the brink of a nuclear holocaust. Of which they may have their bunkers about? where they'll be safe, but it's we, the American people, will have no shelter, no place to go, uh, no place to hide and face the consequences that could destroy all of humanity and the world as we know. Also, I'm, I'm going to fucking say something. This might be controversial. I feel like if Russia's military has been shown to be this fucking, like, under-equipped and, like, mismanaged and shit like that, like, this is something I would be willing to gamble with if I was the leader of the fucking country. But, like... Who's to fucking say that, like, the, their nuclear armaments are, like, even, even operational? I, I'm sorry, but, like, who's to fucking say? I don't know if they would be. They're not really, like, showing that, like, their, their shit is, uh, working real good right now. We know it. You were the first person I heard say that back in February when this all started. I, I believe why you, I ran for it, president. Well, it turns out you were absolutely right. really quick since you did serve for so many years in the Congress in the party you just left. You know, everybody, of course, has anyone called you today, your former colleagues, Democrats to say anything to you? Uh, one, one got in touch with me and sent me a text message with three thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to know who that is, but I, I'm glad you're influencing people. Tulsi Gabbard, I'm not going to ask you what you're doing next. We will all watch, but I hope he is come such back a good propagandist, dude. Holy shit. I look forward to it. Thanks, Tucker. Thanks. All right. Hey, guys. You know what we're about to do? We're about to move over to a YouTube stream. All right. Let me see here. Um, go live. Edit the title. Uh, the uh, content Twitch doesn't want you to see. Save. Uh, how do I, uh, how do I link to it? Video link.
There we go. All right, fellas. Go to this. Because we're about to go through some of the stuff that we actually cannot uh, watch on Twitch. Because we do not have, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the freedom to watch streamers who are banned. All right? We do not have the ability to watch streamers who are banned, but we're going to watch some, uh, we're going to watch some yeah, Haas and Hinkle. Deployed. We're going to, we're going to watch some Haas and Hinkle. We're going to watch some, uh, whatever happened between Stardust and Mr. Girl. But as, uh, as we know right now, all right, we are first going to go over some of these Tulsi Gabbard memes. All right. But I'm going to end the stream here. Go over there.